Hello everyone, today we will perform a frequency response analysis. Frequency uh, response analysis is the response of a, a structure to steady state oscillatory excitation. You have a, an excitation source and simulate response. Blue line is the excitation and red line is the response of structure. I use for this simulation Prevomax. For response analysis, we need first natural frequency analysis. We define step 1, frequency step, and calculate natural frequencies. Important is to change uh, the storage to yes. As a result, the natural frequencies, modes, stiffness and mass matrix are saved in the binary file don't ache and retrieved in the next step for steady state analysis. In second step, step 2, steady state dynamic step, here we need frequency range for excitation, lower frequency and upper frequency. Number of natural frequencies M we get from step 1. Definition number of data points within the frequency range. Here we have number of fixed points. It is lower and upper frequency and additional number of natural frequencies from step 1. And between fixed points we have number of data points n-2. Total number of data points in simulation you can calculate with formula 1. n multiply with m minus m plus n. Finally, to define the bias. Bias is uh, the distribution of data points near fixed points. If bias is 1, then we get equal spacing between data points. Ex example to data points, if we define number of data points 5 and bias is 1, number of natural frequency m from step 1, for example, is 1, we have only one natural frequency in our range, so we have three fixed points and n minus 2, six number of data points. Total is nine data points, fixed points plus data points in simulation. The results of displacement can you look, look like this. You can see lower and upper frequency bound, m1 is natural frequency, and we have total nine data points in simulation. With formula one, can we calculate total number of data points? It is the same, is nine, nine points. With BS1, we have equal spacing between data points. We can change it to more than one, so we get data points closer to fixed points. More information can be found in chapter 7.117, Stage State Dynamics in Calculix User Manual. And now to simulation. Start new project in Prepomax. Import CID of Beam. Mesh it with element size 5. Second order elements. Additional create mesh parameter extrude. Recombine algorithm blossom and two elements in the thickness direction. Create mesh. Change elements tube to C3D8I elements. Define elastic material with density. And solid section for my part. Create first step, frequency step. Calculate first four natural frequencies. Change storage to yes. Create boundary conditions fixed on the end of beam. To second step, steady state dynamic step. Define upper and lower frequency bound. I simulate from 15 to 1000 Hz. Leave the number of data points at 20 and BS is 1. Damping ratio 
is 0.02, is a typical damping for steel. Fixed boundary condition was taken over by step 1. No great excitation. Concentrated force on node. Hundred newton in Z direction. At the end of the beams create not output for displacement. Model is finished, run simulation. It is very small model, Terra 4 is calculation also very fast. Simulation is finished. Here in folder you can see .a file from step 1. Results from step 1, it are 4 natural frequencies. After step 1 we can see results from frequency response analysis. Execution force of 100 Newton by 1000 Hz. Plot displacement magnitude of node at the end of uh, the beam by displacement in Z direction. We can see natural frequencies 1 and 3. And we cannot see natural frequency 2 because by natural frequency 2 we have movement in Y direction. If we plot displacement in Y direction, we can see all, all natural frequencies. In our structure, we have our natural frequencies, but they are not always ex excited in real operating condition. Here is a results summary. We have mod 1, 2, 3 and 4. And plots displacement in Z and displacement Y at uh, the end of the beams. It was for today. See you next time. Bye bye.